is made of gold I'm tired of chasing these things So my name is Mike Morris. I'm here to uh, work on this mural based entirely on the number 12. The idea is they have 12 students, 12 mentors, and they're creating an album, and we're working on the mural, which is going to be the cover for the album. I started in uh, Sheridan College, and I went there. Before that, I didn't really use spray paint at all, and uh, just kind of picked it up from there and ran with it. I spent most of my life thinking that I was going to be a tattoo artist, but uh, I don't know, I just uh, decided to go a different direction and uh, fell in love with painting letters. Don't get in trouble, keep it legal. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think the biggest one, honestly, is that uh, you should spend as much time as you can perfecting your craft in a black book or in a, a sketchbook or whatever uh, before you actually go out and paint something and you know, practice makes perfect. My name is Justine Woods and I just finished helping spray paint this mural for the Stilula album cover. Uh, the part that I worked on was mostly the green girl over there holding the guitar. I thought it was a really fun experience. It was really cool learning how to use different techniques with spray paint. I've never done that before. I, don't know, I guess this learning the different techniques and stuff will help you with painting in the future and also layering and sketching and also the Photoshop that we're working on in our class right now. Hello, my name is David Martel. Um, we're six. I brought my band from Montreal. And uh, we are on the cusp of releasing an EP, a four-song album. I've uh, been in the, the Montreal scene for a few years, released my first album in 2008. I uh, released another EP in 2011. I've been doing shows and touring uh, around North America, a little bit in Europe. I uh, did South by Southwest in 2009. So I've been a songwriter for 20 years. I wrote, uh, maybe not that long, but I started as a teenager playing guitar, I uh, went to college in radio broadcasting um, just because it was something to do, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do coming out of high school. I did well, it was a good program, I thought maybe that was something for me, but in the meantime I started a band and uh, we moved to Montreal when we were done school and kind of never looked back, just kept really focusing on music and I've been working jobs, sometimes I would go on tours so I could do that more and then come back home and if there's not much going on, work a day job, whatever it takes. So I'm still... Um, Still caught between um, raising money, doing music, uh, working a job, and to the goal to where you can be an original artist and uh, you can kind of make a living off of it, go on tour more and record more often. Uh, but I'm definitely at the point where you're always scheduling, balancing between working and doing music. Uh, so uh, if I could um, give any, uh, any word to anybody who might be desiring to, to be here one day as a, a, a young adult, um, <clears throat> It's, it's awesome, it's great to, uh, I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with the band that I have now. It took a long time to, to write, record, do shows, meet people, write, record, do shows as things progressed. And now I've just met like the greatest group, group of musicians I could ask for. And playing with them is the most fulfilling, exciting, satisfying, enjoyable, just, it's great. It's, it's, it's a dream come true. It's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of years, it's, it's really hard and uh, there are tears, there's blood to be sweat, there's, uh, there's everything to go through but uh, if, if you can get there it's, it's worth it. But if, if it's something you want to do I'd say I, I hope it's a passion and you want to do it because you love music, you love to, to play, you love to perform, you love people because you meet people all the time. If, you, if you're not really passionate uh, for it and you're thinking about it for any other reason like maybe monetary not the best reason to get into it. There is, there, there are plenty of musicians who make a living doing music, sure, but they'll tell you that it's, it's definitely not the easiest industry to do. So if you're passionate for it, I encourage you, go for it, don't give up. Uh, learn the basics, learn the foundations at a young age, get technique, get scales, get theory, you know, just get it, eat up as much musical 
language and knowledge that you can because when you grow up and you start writing and continue to write you'll have that foundation you'll never look back on that but I hope that if you, you want to get into that it's because you love it and if you do even the little opportunities you'll have to do is it's always worth it better than doing something that you don't like I know a lot of people who work jobs and have careers that they don't even want to be doing and um, you know what's the point of that The Stalula organization uh, and set up a songwriting competition for the youth uh, of, uh, of this area. And uh, actually, all across Ontario, I believe we've got people coming from as far as Guelph. And, uh, uh, so a lot of different songwriters, and aspiring songwriters, sent their songs in. And we've chosen the best 12 to come here and perform for you tonight. And then, Along with them, we have professional musicians who have been the mentors for these uh, different songwriters. My name is Allie Williams and I just performed at the Midland Cultural Centre for the Stalula competition and my song was one of the 12 selected to go on. Um, well, I've always been around music because my family's very musical so I guess I just kind of became interested in it and started learning how to write songs and play instruments and it kind of went on from there. We've got a great event tonight. I had the pleasure of listening to all of these different performers come up and perform their own songs. I want to tell you who I am. I'm Aaron Solomon, and I'm your lovely host for this evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. You go. 